snap down, it kind of makes the mechanics of it a little bit easier to, to comprehend. So say he shoots in, I sprawl out, okay? Now I'm right here in, this, in the perfect position to get this. I'm gonna scoot over here so that you can kind of see it. So I can do this with my feet all the way up. Catch here, okay, and as soon as I'm ready, knee down, foot dropped. Okay, you're putting that foot through and you're trying to get this whole surface area down as you kick over. Or if you don't like them, you just sit on the guy's chest. Okay, one more time. Okay. So really, what, what you're doing is more dynamic situation as a counter. He shoots. You you sprawl, you know, standard sprawl. Put the hip on his, you know, head to his, you know, his head's down on the mat. Then you start working your hands in there and turn them. Yeah. Can you do it one more time? And either one of these, where you where you work, where it could could be either the the, the standard the, the gable grip or the S grip or the um, you know the, the old fashioned grip. Yeah, either that and we'll pop them over. Either one works too. Yeah, from a, from a sprawl. So. so, like I said, it's a little bit harder for me to get this one, so that isn't as smooth when I do it as, as the S grip. So, that gives you a little bit of a better idea how you, you kick over, post on the head, you know, use it whenever you're in that north south top position. You know, All one right? thing, can you show, because some of the guys are having a little trouble with this, when you do that S grip or gable grip, show how you put your forearm over and, you know, bar his, bar his head, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, on the back of the neck. Start with the S grip first, because with the gable, it takes a little getting used to to be able to do the scissors. So as I catch this, it starts vertical and then you just drop your elbow on the side that you're gonna go, okay? So now it's ended up like that, okay? It's very easy just to do that. Okay, whereas with the gable grip, you have to kind of pinch a little bit more so it takes some getting used to. This should be very easy, okay? But in any event, look how close Derek's elbows are close together as he can get them. They're not, they're not flare, flaring out wide. That keeps his head down and makes the, uh, the turn a little bit easier. It's less control than the gable and it's a lot less control than the figure four, but it's easier to keep that shorter arm, okay? So, as that elbow goes down, keep that lock with your tummy through. Turn it, post up on your head, and squeeze, okay? If you think that your hands are gonna go off, Okay, post on your head and kick over. The higher your butt goes, the easier it is on your wrist. Okay, makes sense. All right, let's give it a good try. Good. Good. Okay. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, we have a lot of books on this subject at our Welcome Mat online store. If you go to www.welcomematstore.com, uh, you'll probably find a book on the subject you just watched. So, uh, and we also have other stuff at our, at our online store as well. So uh, we, we thank you for coming and watching and uh, keep tuning in more of our videos. Thank you very much.